Hi, I'm Allie from Sephora in Kansas City. I'm back with another evening routine that I've updated just a little bit. I have dry and acne prone skin and I'm so excited to show you what I've been using. So the very first step of taking all of my makeup off is I always make sure I remove my lashes. I start from the outer corner and lightly pull just straight across my eyes. And usually by the end of the day, my lashes are ready to come off. And just to maintain the quality of my lashes, I always make sure I put them back in the box. All right, now to really take it off. I'm gonna be using Makeup Eraser, the original Makeup Eraser Makeup Remover Cloth. And what you wanna do first is make sure that you get this wet. So I have just wet mine. And I'm just starting with only warm water on this and I'm just lightly buffing off any makeup that I have on. Being acne prone, I feel like my skin does not do well with going straight in with a cleanser. I have to take everything off first and then cleanse my face. It is reusable. You can wash it as many times as you need to. Up to a thousand uses are over if you use it a little more gently. Look at the magic. Red smoky eye, no longer. And it's all because of this amazing product. All right, now to remove any remaining lash glue or eye makeup, I'm gonna be using Sephora Collection Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. And you just wanna make sure that before you use this or squeeze this out onto a cotton round that you give this a bit of a shake to mix all of the ingredients in the container together. And I like to put this on a cotton round and usually I will just let it kind of sit on my eye for a couple seconds to start to break down any lash glue or eyeliner that I have left over that maybe my makeup eraser didn't quite get off. The other reason I love this waterproof eye makeup remover is it doesn't leave me with blurry vision or foggy eyes, and it's very, very gentle. Okay, now that my eye makeup is removed, I've dampened my skin and I'm gonna be using Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. I love this cleanser and it's taken me so long to find one that I just am married to and I feel like we'll never be apart now. The reason I love this so much is it doesn't have soap or any sulfates in it, so it doesn't really get frothy or foamy. This is great for my skin in particular because I am very dry. The other reason I love it is that it exfoliates so gently with the alpha and beta hydroxy acids. I tend to lean a little more sensitive so in the past cleansers with those ingredients have tended to make me nervous this one is so gentle it's so luxurious i use it every night and it does not strip my skin it leaves me super soft and it's really made a difference in my acne scarring and preventing breakouts a great tip with this cleanser is that if you self tan or you have dry skin like i tend to have on my whole body you can actually use this on your body to exfoliate and remove any dead skin i love to use this on my elbows and before i shave my legs and like i said if you self tan you can use it before you apply apply it and it helps to exfoliate all that dead skin. Okay, so now that I've rinsed my cleanser off, I'm going to be moving into my next step and that is going to be using Ula Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. This has become another new staple in my routine and I really, really love this product because I do have post acne marks and some texture from acne scarring. I'm just gonna take this product and I apply a little bit onto a cotton round and I'm just lightly sweeping this across the surface of my skin. The biggest difference I notice in my skin when I'm using this product is that my skin looks really plump, really glowy, and I also notice that my other products tend to absorb a little bit better. A great tip too is I love to use the cotton round on my hand whenever I'm done on the back just because I'm driving and that's an area you tend to get some aging, I love to use this to help brighten and make sure my hands look really smooth. And I like to try to do everything I do to my face to my neck as well. And I'm just lifting up with that cotton round to make sure I'm defying gravity. And now I'm going to be using Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel Pads. They are a two-step peel pad and I am starting with step one. This is the peel step. And so I'm just removing the cotton pad from the little packet and unfolding it. And I'm just going to lightly sweep this across the surface of my skin several times. The reason you wanna give this a few passes is to really let the peel do its job. So I just start on my cheeks and I really just work the pad around my face until it starts to feel dry. I tend to also give a little extra attention to those areas I have scarring. So I focus on my cheeks, I focus around like my nose where texture tends to collect because I'm drier and around my mouth. And I also like to bring this pad down onto my neck as well because I just like to make sure I'm doing preventative anti-aging. I also like to peel the back of my hands for the same reason as I use the toner on the back of my hands. I just like to make sure I'm doing anything anti-aging back there as well. Now I'm going to wait two minutes. You want to do this because the peel takes two minutes to fully work its best. So you just want to give it a couple minutes before you move on to step number two. So I'm just taking this peel pad and I'm sweeping it across my skin until it feels dry. And now it's neutralizing my peel. 
after I've neutralized my face, I'm going to take that same little pad and I'm going to neutralize what's on my hands as well. All right. And now I'm moving on into my next step using Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash MD Lash Enhancing Serum. And you want to make sure that this is the first thing that you put on your eyes after you've cleansed. So I'm just taking this and I just do a thin, tiny line on my upper lashes and lower lashes. And this product is incredible. Now moving into eye cream, I'm going to be using Dr. Dennis Gross Vitamin C and Collagen Brighten and Firm Eye Cream. I just take a little teardrop size amount and I like to lightly press this in around my under eyes and on my brow bone. I like to make sure I hit that brow bone area just to prevent any sagging and wrinkling later on. I am young, but I like to make sure I'm doing everything to prevent for later on. And after tapping in around my eyes, I like to add any product around the mouth as well because that's an area that gets some wear and tear and some first signs of aging. And so anything I do to my eyes, I tend to do to my lips. Moving on into the hydration step, I'm going to be using Josie Marin Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. This has become one of my favorite products over the last few months because where I'm from, it's super cold and dry, and I need a lot of hydration, and I like my skin to look plump radiant and glowy. I just take a couple drops in my palms after I finish cleansing and toning and I just like to work this into my skin doing kind of a patting and pressing motion. I love this product because it's packed with antioxidants. It's got vitamin E in it that's really calming and soothing and tons of argan oil. So it makes my skin look really hydrated and healthy and it does a lot of great things for anti-aging as well. To seal all of this good stuff into my skin, I'm going to be using You To The People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I'm just taking about a pea size amount and I'm going to lightly smooth this out across the surface of my skin. I love this product because it has vitamin C in it so it's very brightening and makes my skin look really radiant and also has squalane in it which makes my skin super hydrated and plump and glowy. It smells incredible and it's really rich and nourishing and I like a heavier texture for a night cream and this texture is just amazing and perfect and the yellow makes me happy. All right and for my final step of my nighttime routine I can't forget the lips so I'm going to be using Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. I love this product. It smells so yummy and it stays on all night long and I'm just going to be kind of applying a generous amount to my lips because I wear lipstick or gloss or a stain almost every single day so I want to make sure I'm giving a lot of hydration and moisture back to my lips before I go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for getting unready with me. I hope you enjoyed my new routine and make sure you like and comment and tell us what new skincare products you're using and we'll see you next time. Bye!